Welcome back to another Cleft Lip Gamer video for more Farming Simulator 22 here on Rayback. Um, so, it's mid-September, you'll notice that your money has gone up slightly. Um, I have done a few contracts during late August and early September, so I'll put a screenshot of those contracts now. So, uh, this afternoon's job, I think, is to get this grass cut, um, and then I can put it into the hayloft and use it to feed the sheep. Um, I mean, the, the sheep are, they have got some food because they, because I'm using the, um, uh, what's it called, the mod where they, the animal grazing. What's it called? Something like that. Um, so they are eating the grass that is in the, the pasture here. Um, but if we have a look at the animal screen, it's it's not much. So I do need to, to kind of top that up a little bit. Um, there is a potato harvesting contract. I'm not going to do that. Um, I just I can't bring myself to do potatoes. So let's grab the tractor. Something missing the trailer. I left the trailer over at the silo. Uh, I didn't buy the um, what was it? A fence, wasn't it? Let's get this going. But I really do need a new tractor because I'm, I'm sick and tired of this one now. Uh, I also need something to collect this grass with. Um, so probably a wind rower and um, forage wagon maybe. I don't, I don't need to bail it because I've got the hayloft so it can go straight in the hayloft I think. So, how is everybody? All good? If you've got any suggestions for mods that you want to see me using, please do put them in the comments. I'm always happy to try out something new. Um, I do need to look at buying some new equipment, really. Definitely need a forage wagon, definitely need a wing rower. Oh, now what I might do is get one of the wing rowers that goes um, on the front of the tractor. I think I used it actually on um, Riverview Farms. And then have the forage wagon behind, actually. Um, that's probably the easiest bet, I think. We need to look at making some progress, really. So, I have been told, actually... Um, there is a uh, what do you call it? Um, a building site, a building yard, building site, um, not far from here. And they have some stones, that, some rocks that they want to get rid of. So there is a possibility that I can go and buy some stones, and then I can use my production facility to make lime. And then I can either use that lime or sell it to make some money. Uh, so that that's an option. Um, I have got some... Uh, let's show you what I've got in my silo. It's not a great deal. Just get up here. So if we have a look. Uh, 6,000 litres of canola. And just over 1,500 litres of sorghum. Um, that's left over from contracts that I've done. So, what I was thinking, I, I will use that crop, I think, to turn it into seed, and then either sell, you know, kind of keep some seed that I can use, uh, and sell most of it. Um, and I'll do that using the, uh, the auger from the AGI pack. But, I don't want to do that yet. I mean, there's only sort of probably 8,000 odd litres of, of crop there. I know I'll get more than 8,000 because it does kind of 
um, you do get more out than what you put in. But I've still got to lease the equipment. I've got to lease the, the auger pipe for a start, and then I need to buy the seed treatment liquid. And the seed treatment liquid is about three grand, I think, um, for a pallet. So I need to make sure that I've got enough crop that I can get a decent profit from it. Um, if I did it now, by the time I've leased the, the auger and bought the, the seed treatment, I'm probably only going to make about five grand, and it's it's not, it's just not worth it at the moment. So I'll do a few more harvest contracts, uh, and I've got my own field of wheat as well. Although I do want to get some chickens that I can use that wheat for. I've got a little bit of space up on top of the hill there next to the gardens that I can put some chickens in. So I need to find a small chicken coop that will fit in that gap so that's the the plan so today's plan get the grass cut get some new equipment i'll probably go and skip through to october if there's no more contracts that pop up uh, i'm not sure how far off my wheat field over there is actually um let's uh we'll go and have a look shall we let's uh just so yeah, there's a bit of land just here that I'm thinking if I can get find a chicken coop that fits in that gap. So if you've got any ideas for a chicken coop, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, we'll find one that fits in that gap quite nicely. We'll just go through to your wheat field and have a look. Yeah, it's quite a way off being ready, isn't it? Look. Bottom growth stage five of seven, so yeah, got a couple more months left on that. Um, we've got one and a bit of pallets of walls, so we don't need to go next door into the production facility, we'll get some fabric on the go. Right, I'm going to get all this grass cut, and uh, I'll see you when it's done, and we'll go and buy some new equipment. So I will see you, oh hang on, let's have a look at the corn header and a planter, no, don't need either of those. Right, I'll get this job finished, and I will see you in a little while. Okay, the mowing is done. I'm here at the store trying to buy some equipment, I think. Uh, we'll have a look there, I think there's nothing there. So, uh, we want a uh, wind rower. Uh, that one. Front mounted. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then a forage wagon. I'm looking at uh, one of these Voss Alpine Alpine ones. Uh, what do we get? 16,000 litres in that setup, and it doesn't add anything to the 30 grand. Uh, Or is that one? Oh, it's the same price as that one, actually. So for an extra three, we'll get a bit more in it. Uh, yep, we'll go with that one, I think, then. An extra three grand. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. And I was also thinking about getting a little skid steer to move the um, the wool pallets around. These ones are fairly cheap. It's only moving wool, so it doesn't have to be anything. Um, 
Go with that. We'll put some lights on it, I think. Uh, I will um, I'll put a waste on. I'll leave that for now. We'll see what. Uh, see how well it does. I'm only moving them around the corner and perhaps onto a trailer afterwards. The um, the fabric. Let's go with that. I think. And we need. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to get the. Uh, where is it? In the CSZ pack, the uh, big bag lifter, big bag hangler, blah, big bag hangler for a stitch here. And we'll get one of those as well. Right, so. Uh, okay. We're going to collect the grass first. That stitch here is ridiculously small. <laughs> I might need a weight on the back of that to pick up the, uh, the wall, but we'll see. That is tiny. That is absolutely tiny. Uh, okay. We'll come back for that. I'll see you back up at the farm and we'll get this grass collected and we'll feed the sheep. Right, let's get some of this grass collected. Turn that on, drop that down, turn that on. I could have just gone up and down the rows, obviously. Um, this will make it a little bit quicker. Without a doubt. I need to have a look at the brochures and see if I can find um, a little chicken pen that will fit in this gap, I think. Let's just lift these up a minute, let's just get... Okay, I think we have enough room here. Shut that back down. I'm going to back up a little bit, just get that bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can get just about get three rows, so that's better. Excellent stuff. Once we've got our first full load, we'll go and feed the chickens and the rest can go into the hayloft. Let's get this first load in for the chickens. That's still going, turn that off. I 
that signpost, I'm going to hit that every time, I think. Alright, uh, how is it best? I think it's best if we... Reverse in, you reckon, probably? Oops. Come on. I don't think they'll take much. No, I could be wrong. Let's have a quick look. Yep, a full. Just have to say so hard, right? Okay. I'll we'll drop the rest in here. Right. I'll go and collect the rest of that and I'll see you in a few minutes. Right. Here she is. The little tiny, uh, oh, let's turn the meeting off. Uh, Identifier and adapter plate uh, that goes on the front to connect, even though this is a, a Stig Steer logo and this is an implement for a Stig Steer logo, uh, I had to buy an implement to connect two together. I think that was about £750, I think. Uh, I need to move that out of the way. I can grab the tractor. Um, all of the grass is in the hayloft now. Um, the uh, I went down in the um, in the camper to get the skid steer, so uh, I do need to go and pick the camper up at some point. That's uh, that's down at the shop. All right, let's get this out of the way. Uh, We'll have a look how much grass is in the hayloft in a moment. Pop that there. I need to uh, fertilise the grass, I think, as well. So we'll do that in a minute. So we'll hook that back up. I am intrigued to see... Um, whether this will pick up a full bale of wool or not. Let's have a look, shall we? Are we, uh... That's not good. Whoa! No, that's not good, is it? I think I'm going to need... I need a weight on the back of that, I think. Uh, I go, whoa! That's not good at all. It's a little bit better, but let's... <laughs> I hope you had room flat tyres on the, on the front there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to set this back and, uh, and get some weights, I think. Um, which does mean a horrible seven mile an hour drive there and seven mile an hour drive back. But hey-ho, you live and learn. Right. 
that to stay there for now. Uh, I'm not going to set that going yet because there's only there's only been a thousand wool in there. It's not going to make much, so we'll leave that as is. Let's go and fertilise the grass. I have been told while I was down at the store, somebody um, spotted the camper and said they were interested in buying it from me. So, uh, I have to, to speak to the chap and, and see, um, see what he wants to do. He said he got something that I might be interested in, so always looking to do a deal. But we'll see, uh, I'm just going to get the camper really, because it's, it's just in the car park, it'll be in the way, so I'm just going to get that. Uh, we'll fertilise the grass. I think this is, this might be the first, I think I'll fertilise how, how it works on grass. Will it be fertilised already because I've cut it once? Or will I have to fertilise it again? I can't remember. I can't remember. What I might do now, once I've, once I've done this, is um, skip ahead to October, I think. Uh, there's no other jobs I've got left to do. I've got my eye on a piece of land just over there. Um, I don't know whether to expand the farm yet or not. £70,000 piece of land over there. And I think it's got a crop in the ground. I, it's field 20, 29, which I think I've done the fertilising on that one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm making a right mess of this as normal. For anyone that's seen my videos before, you know that I'm Pretty useless it. Look at I'm missing bits everywhere look. One of those jobs, I said before, one of those jobs that when nobody's looking, you can do it really well. And then as soon as you start recording, it all goes to pot. So I can't remember if I mentioned that if obviously I bought a, a pallet of fertiliser, um, the £1,000 for uh, 5,000 litres. And it's has done me quite well up to now. I fertilised that field next door, 28, uh, after I harvested it. Uh, I think the cultivating on that field and then the first stage of fertiliser. It didn't use as much as what I expected actually, so quite pleased about that really. See this last little bit up here. Three. Yep. Alright, let's have a look at that then. Just jump out. 
So that is saying, yeah, 100% fertilised. Oh, it needs lime. Uh, I'm not ploughing, because uh, it's only a grass field. Alright, let's get this put away. I was talking on, uh, I think it was the, um, the Discord channel I'm, I'm on. Um, and somebody was saying about, do you, do you put equipment away or do you leave it in the fields or, you know, kind of what do you do with it? Um, and I'm, I'm a real kind of stickler for, for putting things away. Um, even to the point where I could have done a, a you know, if, if I've got a full mowing setup, triple mowers and baler and all that kind of stuff, um, if I've got a, a, a failing contract, um, you know, I'll get the mowers and I'll go and mow and I'll come back and I'll put the mowers away. Then I'll go wing row, come, come back put that away, go and fail, come back put that away. Finish the contract and then take on another mowing contract and then go and get all the equipment again. I think, you know, I, I wouldn't think of leaving equipment out. It, it, <laughs> I don't know. You know, at, at the end of a... a, a a session of, you know, when I've been playing for a bit, all the equipment's going to go away. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just one of those things, I think, so. Uh, right, uh, probably a shorter, oh, let's, let's have a look how much we've got in here. 46,000 litres, so that's a little bit more, actually, than what I expected, so not bad at all. The sheep are looking pretty good. Hopefully that grass shouldn't go down as quick because I've got the animal grazing mod on. They shouldn't. I shouldn't need to fill that up quite as much. So, um, but yeah. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, if you could like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, that would be amazing. And I will see you in the next one.